Hi folks, I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. I'm going to talk today about what is causing your fibromyalgia. First of all, I want to be understood on a few points before we talk about the one reason we're going to cover today. Fibromyalgia is caused by many, many things. There's always multiple reasons why you would have fibromyalgia. So not just one thing. I want to be clear on that. But we're going to talk about one thing today, but there are probably many other things that are causing it. Now, what it is, it's a neurological problem, folks. Your brain is abnormally excitable to pain. What neurologically speaking, we have our pain fibers in our body are activated all the time, but the perception of pain is in the brain. Pain is not pain until it hits your brain. For example, I'm standing on my feet right now and I weigh 220 pounds. Why are my feet not killing me right now? I'm stimulating my pain fibers. It's carrying that sensation into the cord to the brain, but in the brain, if my brain's working well, we have systems that will shut off that pain perception. It's like, it's the reason why we'll put on our shoes in the morning and we'll feel it right away, and then we don't feel it after a few seconds. That's the way the brain works. So what happens in fibromyalgia is you're suffering from widespread pain, fatigue, and sleep disorders. The American Academy of Rheumatology says you have to have 11 spots on your body out of 18 that are painful. Folks, there's no gold standard test for fibromyalgia. It's, it's definitely, the triad is you are tired all the time, you want to sleep all the time, you have widespread pain, and you have sleep issues, okay? This is one reason that the brain could not have the ability to tune out pain, and it's known as brain inflammation. For every neuron we have in our brain, we have 10 immune cells protecting it. If those immune cells are being activated, then those neurons that they protect do not function properly, and if that occurs in a part of your brain that's supposed to tune out pain, then you're going to develop fibromyalgia. And what would cause brain inflammation? So this is what we look at in people that come to me with widespread pain, fatigue, and sleep disorders. Mm. Food sensitivities. The food that we eat today, folks, is not the same food we ate 20, 30 years ago. It's been genetically modified, so a lot of us are eating it, and it's causing systemic inflammation and inflammation in the brain. Hidden infections. A lot of my patients have gut infections yeast overgrowth, parasites, things like that, or even dental infections or urinary tract infections that can cause systemic inflammation. Autoimmune disease, our immune systems today are fighting harder than ever because there's more things in our environment that don't belong in our body that they have to work against. And when our immune systems are fighting too hard, then they tend to make mistakes and they trigger an antibody or an immune response against our own tissue. Very common in people with fibromyalgia. And nutritional deficiencies. A lack of glutathione, a lack of vitamin D will cause upsets in the immune system, causing systemic inflammation. If you're suffering from fibromyalgia, trust me, folks, the answer is not in a pill like Lyrica or all these different medications that they give you. The answer is addressing underlying causes. This is what we do in our clinic. I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.